Dredge isn't shy about the horrors that lie mere feet below my fisherman's dinky boat. Sure, my bright day hours are filled with peaceful fishing to gentle piano tracks, in a quaint loop of sailing around for catches and then selling them for money towards upgrades and tools. Then dusk sets, my paranoia kicks in and Dredge bears its monstrous mutated teeth. Life in Dredge is Lovecraftian as hell, wonderfully ominous and effortlessly Moorish all at once. The actual act of fishing is relatively simple. Hit the button to fish when the moving target hits the green zone across Dredge's various mini-games. They vary in complexity, like a ball simply going around in circles or one that alternates between two curved bars. The real challenge comes from what to do after I've landed my catch and stowed it in the wonderfully puzzly inventory system. I've got to get them back to someone who will buy them off me before they go rotten, and preferably before night falls. Relics strewn across four surrounding islands are waiting for me, and the goal is to dredge them up and return them to the mysterious collector residing on an island I've been awfully curious about. Handing in a relic to the collector grants you some rather odd mystical abilities, but these come at a cost. Dredge is home to a panic meter, one that rears its ugly head when the sun sets and those mysterious powers are utilized. The more my panic meter increases, the more terrifying things become. I begin to hallucinate red-eyed crows swarming my boat, shadow ships come barreling towards my own, and giant monsters emerge from the waters to rip my vessel to shreds. But even through this horror, I kept playing long after the credits had rolled on the game's short but sweet story. And what a story it is, too. The selfish part of me wants more story time to pick things apart, and there are predictable portions I saw coming from a mile off. But instead of being in your face, Dredge tells its story through what NPCs have to say, message bottles floating in the sea, and strange side quests tucked away on tiny islands. I really enjoyed putting the pieces together through all these different avenues, and some time-sensitive quests in particular massively caught my attention. For a game that could be completed in a tidy 10-15 to hours, Dredge is well worth sailing out with. If you love horror and fun fishing minigames, this is definitely the game for you. It's not perfect, but the frustrating moments are glaringly obvious through its mostly excellent bite-sized experience. But that won't stop me from returning to fill out its twisted encyclopedia and right some wrongs I committed in certain side quests.